Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're gonna go through the basic overview of a VNX2 SAN unit. Uh, you'll find that it just looks slightly different to the VNX1 model. So VNX1 was replaced by VNX2. VNX2 comes in the 5200, 5400, 5600, etc. up on the range there. 51, uh, VNX1, sorry, we're in 5100, 50, uh, 5300, 5500, etc. All right, so that is the VNX2 unit. And we're gonna go through the individual components of each. Fancy first unit, SPs, you've got the backup power, everything like that. And then you've actually got your DAE units, which are your disk array enclosures. Let's just go ahead and open this up. And this fancy light will then turn off, which is how it was just before. All right, so in here, you'll see you've got your units there. This is the fans and the power for your SP units. You'll see there that it says SPA, which is for these two here. And then on the other side, SPB. And then above that, you've got all your discs. So these are two and a half inch discs, and this is part of the original SP unit. So if you were to purchase a VNX2, uh, you would, if you don't need additional discs, you'd get just this rack here with your two and a half inch discs if that's what you've chosen to go for. Then above that, as we said, we've got the additional D, uh, DAE units, right? The disc array enclosures, similar. They're just full of discs as well, okay? All of your discs set up either in RAID groups or in storage pools. All right, so that is the front of a VNX2. On the back of the unit, similarly to the front, you've got all the connectors coming in. All right, so this is the storage processor, okay? You've got ethernet cables running into each of the SP modules. This is for management of the network and can also be used if you have, uh, if you have the NFS shares, those sort of things configured as well. You've also got your fiber channel running into it. Okay, so in this case, it's got dual fiber channels. There are up to four on this particular card, and that will then be plugged into a fiber channel switch where you can add it into, uh, you know, connect it to, say, for example, your VMware hosts and that sort of thing. So you can use your SAN, you can create your LUNs, you can create your storage pools, etc., etc. In turn, you've got dual power power for your SPA and then power for your SPB or vice versa, that's A and that's B, okay? And then you've got your cabling. So these are the cables, these are proprietary um, cables that are connected between your disk arrays and between your SP, all right? And this in turn is connected like so. So from here, you're then running into one of these and then in there, you run the second one out to the other one and vice versa. So you're essentially daisy chaining all of your disks uh, from one to another. All right, and that is the, what you saw on the front, that is the four disk array enclosures, okay? All daisy chained from one after another. So very convenient, if I want to add a fifth one, you can see that the connectors are empty, okay? So I can essentially just connect one on the top and then just daisy chain it up from there. Nice and easy, and I've got plenty of space to add additional ones as well. You'll see that each of these, they've also got A and B as well for, for redundancy. One coming in, the other one coming in on the other side, and then power on either end as well for redundancy reasons. Uh, you'll also see there's things like this. You've got additional cards, you can just plug in additional components. You've got slots where you can add additional fiber channel, additional ethernet, those sort of things as well, okay? So that is the overall component of a VNX2 SAN. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.